keep your heads and your relationships clear of cliches and better create your unique love stories. Hello, welcome to Beautifying Life and Creativity. What's up, what's up? It's February, the month of love, the Valentine's Day month. What? Yes, Valentine's Day month. Why? Because they say so. Who? They. Well, they. In the video today, we are talking about romantic cliches. Those cliches about love and relationships that rule our minds and we meet since childhood and in teenage years. Instead of being useful and giving us wise guidance, well, they ruin relationships in most of the cases. Only creativity and uniqueness can really be helpful. There are so many cliches of this type. You couldn't even imagine. If we are not very well aware of them, they might trick us and they might rule our mind. So here they are, the most frequent ones in a random order. The first cliche is exactly the fact that February is the month of love. We would rather say that the entire year must be the year for love and every day. Then we have the following. If he or she doesn't entertain me anymore, well, they're out. Right? Because our lovers are some buffoons or entertainers and if they break the contract, bye bye well, no, if you want a buffoon, buy one, but if you want a lover, then beside the good times, there will be hard times and misunderstandings and a lot of transformation. There's a pretty one. Absence will make the other want you more. <laughs> what? Yeah, because everybody knows that we all in secret dream of our ideal life partner to be the invisible man or the invisible woman. No, people that really love each other do not want distance. This is something that happens if it cannot be prevented. Strong relationships are built on presence. If they really love us, they must accept everything we are and do. Well, no, if you don't take the other one into account, then there's no relationship there. And this leads me to the following cliche, which says like that, if they really love us, well, they will do everything for us. Haha, <laughs> no, no, no. Truly, cooperation and friendship is essential in a relationship. But for your very dirty, dirty work, you still have to hire a professional killer. If they look at me and smile and seem attracted, they must be so in love with me. OMG! This is not a cliche just for adolescents, for all ages. I would rather say that adolescents are more intuitive and do not fall for this. We should all check better in the dictionary or in the real life. Love and attraction are not synonymous. Then we have the cliche called beauty and the beast. Classical, bad boy, nice girl, bitchy woman, nice guy, right? Because everybody wants to live a lifetime with a terrorist or with a bully. Well, if you believe that, then go watch Beauty and the Beast until the end. You'll see the beast transforms into beauty that he was all along. And this leads me to another cliche which says that movies and bestsellers know best what is romantic. Sure, do what a fictional character does and you will have a beautiful romantic relationship. Write a fictional one. Big declarations of love plus emotional photo on social media equals extremely successful relationship. If you do that, maybe you will make some friends envious. Usually the successful relationships are discreet. Then there's the cliche that flowers or better rose petals and candles are the most romantic gesture. 
Well, sure, they are romantic, but so many people do it. And I think it could become even more romantic if you burn your entire bedroom to the ground, isn't it? You would better spend some time to really discover what your partner really loves. And you could really surprise him or her in a deep way. Oh, I have now a cliché, which is so delightful. And I heard it in so many women of all ages. It says like that, the pussy is worth more than seven universities graduated. Can you imagine that? Yes, it's pure mathematics, I'm telling you. You could graduate one, two, three, four, how many universities? It's enough, right? And you could work in these areas. But if you own a pussy, well, then you directly enter all markets with your services. Christ, <laughs> the mentality, the level, <laughs> da. the profoundness, <laughs> da. Indeed. the deepness, the depth of the, <laughs> da. Of the skill da. is great. Then we have two cliches that work in pair. They're somehow antagonistic. The positive side, which says that you don't have to work for real love. Sure, do nothing, lay there and do absolutely nothing and just wait for love to work for you for free. Who is this love? Santa? Where is this love? Can we also hire it? Well, sure, do nothing, don't be interested in the other person, don't be interested in skills to have a good relationship and yes, true love will work, like magic, sure. <laughs> And then it's the opposite, the negative one, which says that love is suffering. If you don't suffer, then it's not true love. Blame love for all this harmony and misunderstandings and for your incapacity to focus on the other person. Blame it and it will end up so well. No, these issues are natural and they're meant for you to pay attention and they can be all addressed for a better relationship. Love is not suffering. I don't need a person. My pet can give me all the love and joy I need. Who are we fooling? A pet is wonderful, is lovely, it's a lot of love there, but it's not the same kind of love. And if you already are thinking like that, then you should stop lying to yourself. This means that you truly need a person and you're just trying to fill that gap with a pet. There is a somehow similar cliche to the previous one, which says that if I am an independent and strong person, I don't need somebody to complete me. Totally agreed. If you are this strong, independent person, you don't need a compliment. You need a partner. And you should better understand that this is just a defensive position. A bit of jealousy will make the other pay you more attention. No, a bit of love or more love and understanding and cooperation will make the other pay you more attention and will be the foundation for a good relationship, right? I don't know why we all have these cliches when we terrorize the other. <laughs> don't you see a pattern? We also have the lady and the trump cliché, also known as the opposites attract. Well, this in reality rarely works, because if people do not have same interests and are not synchronized in their activities, well, then at least one will make too many sacrifices. And if only one makes sacrifices continuously, the relationship won't work too much. Put the other to the test to see if it fits. Yes, sure, download right now all the applications for lovers. Put them through hell and test them like nothing else because you don't want an unprofessional or untrained lover next to you, don't you? There's the high school sweetheart's cliché. Meet in high school and live a lifelong of love and happiness. 
Well, keep dreaming or better, no, don't dream like that. Don't set up yourself for that in high school because it happens but in very few cases and you would gain more if you would just keep your hope and your faith in meeting the right person at the right time. There's one final cliche, very frequent cliche. If a lot of people turn their heads for you, on the streets or in different places, then you must be very successful in love. Well, wrong, so wrong. Attraction, as I said before, and love are not the same thing. If you believe in that, we have a solution for you. Go out on the street naked. You see how many people turn their heads around for you. You will have a lot of success in love, don't you? So that's it for today. Keep your heads and your relationships clear of cliches and better create your unique love stories. If you want to get inspired, go check our video entitled Love Story Created Yourself. See the link right here. Write in the comments below your ideas about these cliches and other cliches that you have encountered. And till next time, send you many kisses and always remember to beautify your life and your soul. Bye.